Okay, we have four croissants here, all cut up into quarters, like that. Fresh croissants smell so good. And here we have four eggs. I'm gonna beat these. All right, those are nice and beaten. I have some whipping cream here. One cup of this whipping cream is going in with the eggs. Okay, Dijon mustard. Mm. We're gonna spice it up a little bit. You need about, ooh, about a teaspoon of this. Um, I think that's probably good. Okay, now we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Sprinkle a pepper there, just so you know, there mm -hmm, it is. Mm -hmm. And my honey's favorite salt, mm -hmm. the Himalayan, going in. And next, I have a combination of herbs here. This is Herbs de Provence. And I actually didn't have Herbs de Provence, so I made my own. And what it is is oregano, rosemary, and thyme. I think there's something else that goes in there too, but this is good. I'm happy with this. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a mix for just about a minute. Okay, that is yummy and creamy looking. Okay, just gonna bring this over and look at our beautiful baking dish. This is gonna be such a delicious casserole. So we're taking our croissant pieces and I'm just dipping them in our egg cream mixture and we're gonna place them in. This is a little bit of a messy process, but it's all good. All right, here's our last two going in. Oh, perfect fit, there we go. Okay, we have some sauce left over here, so I'm just gonna pour that over the top. Mm. And we've got some more delicious ingredients going in, but I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash before I move to the next step. Okay, we have some ham and cheese slices here that I quartered. And I'm gonna add these, so I'm gonna take a slice of ham, it looks like a little fan, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna roll it like so mm -hmm. and stick it right in there. Mm. Isn't that cute? It so, looks like a little flower. It does look like a little flower. Growing up, my brother, who's three and a half years older than me, he would drive me to school, but before we would go, if we'd get up early enough, we would go to this bakery and we would get ham and cheese croissants mm. and hot chocolate. And this casserole is like bringing me back, bringing me back to the high school days. And then there was this one day where I spilled my hot chocolate in my lap on the way to school. It was awful. You, Don't do that. So what, what happened? Did you, did you go I to school had, with wet pants all, all I day? had wet chocolate stains on my jeans all day. Oh, That's no. what happened. And uh, not only was it embarrassing, but I'm pretty sure I burnt my leg. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, if uh, anybody out there, uh, tell us in the, in the comments if you have any embarrassing stories of, of uh, going to school and your, I don't know, something happened. Spilling something. Spilling something on yourself. Maybe it's Maybe going to work. Maybe a bird poops on you during <laughs> lunch. That seemed to happen a lot at my school too. Oh no. Not to me though, thankfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, how much ham are you gonna okay, put in Okay, I there? think this is looking good. I can add more, but I do wanna show you the cheese steps as well. Oh, so. Yeah. Little quarter of cheese. Gonna fold, this is a delicious Swiss cheese here. And just gonna tuck some cheese slices in. Now, you know if that was me, I would just like, I would I would just <laughs> lay them on top. <laughs> I know you would. Cause but I want this the, pretty? It's so pretty, and I want the whole thing to be covered with cheese, but I know that's not this recipe, so. <laughs> well, you can do as much or as little as you like. And this mm -hmm. would also be really delicious with Parmesan. So if you're not mm. a fan, or provolone would be really mm -hmm. good with this. So yeah, don't hesitate. Like if you're not a Swiss fan, use a different cheese. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So how long are we gonna bake this? Well, it's not done yet. Well, I know, but when we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know when we get there. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, I know nobody likes to watch paint dry. So we, uh, we skipped ahead there, but here it is all done, looking delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is three tablespoons of butter that we melted. And these are uh, some fresh herbs. I had a little bit of rosemary and thyme, and I just love fresh herbs. You can use dry if that's what you have, but I'm gonna add this to the top. Ooh. Just brush the top. This is gonna make the top look nice and brown. Mm. So delicious. 
This is how they do it in Paris, honey. <laughs> oh, oh, mon, mon oui, chéri. Oui, <laughs> oui, oui. How many of you, I'm curious how many of our, our, our watches here have, have uh, been to, to Paris? Or anywhere in France, for that matter. Yeah, that's true. Mm. There's Ver, 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 Versailles, Versailles. St. Michel, Nice. Mm. Mm, so many wonderful places to visit. Okay, this is done. Uh, I'm going to pop this in the oven at 350 mm -hmm. for about 25 minutes. All right, I wish you could smell this. It Doesn't it look amazing? It and it does smells look amazing. amazing. So, yeah, we let it cool for about five minutes, and it is looking ready to eat. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should have, had a, should have gotten a knife. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten a knife, but that's okay. Uh, it's coming out nice and clean. But yeah, a knife would have been a good idea. That's okay, look at it pull apart like that. That's good, it's good. That's, oh, yum. I can smell the, the rosemary and the thyme, mm -hmm. and it smells incredible. Let me see. Look what, at that. Hold that steel yeah, I didn't get the cleanest piece out, but. It looks great. You can see it there. Mm, and that cheese is all mm -hmm. melted on there mm -hmm. now. This smell is bringing me back to my brother's car in, <laughs> in high school mm. and ham and cheese croissants. Mm. 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 This is great. Honey, you have to try this. It's delicious.